Tolu had dreamed of traveling to Seoul for years. Its vibrant culture, K-pop and breathtaking landscapes had captured her heart from afar. When she received an opportunity to spend a year studying in Seoul as part of an exchange program, it felt like fate, but nothing could have prepared her for what awaited. She's welcomed warmly by her host family, Mr. and Mrs. Han, Jisoo, their son, barely glances her way. Tall, with jet black hair and piercing eyes, he's the kind of guy who commands attention without trying, a classic bad boy with a cold exterior. But she's determined to make the most of this exchange, even if Jisoo barely acknowledges her existence. At school, things get worse. On her first day, she notices how everyone's eyes follow Jisoo wherever he goes. Girls fawn over him, and guys envy his confidence. Tolu, on the other hand, is an outsider. She stands out with her natural beauty, curly hair and vibrant style, but not in a way she would have liked. Students whisper about the new girl, but they keep their distance. Despite the cold treatment from Jisoo, Tolu finds solace in the vibrant energy of the city and the support from her teachers. She tries her best to focus on her studies and learning Korean, but every time Jisoo walks past her, it feels like the world stops. She can't shake the growing attraction, but to him, she's invisible. One evening, things start to change. After dinner, Tolu decides to take a walk by the Han River. Lost in thought, she doesn't notice Jisoo following her. She's startled when she hears a familiar voice behind her. You shouldn't be out here alone. She turns to see Jisoo, his expression still guarded, but there's something different about him softer, less distant. I didn't think you cared, she replies cautiously. I don't, he shrugs, but you're my responsibility, so I guess I do. The silence between them is heavy but not uncomfortable. Eventually, Jisoo starts to open up in small ways. He talks about his love for motorcycles, his struggles with school, and how everyone expects him to be something he's not. Tolu listens intently, and for the first time, she sees through his tough exterior. Underneath the bad boy image is someone who feels just as lost and lonely as she does. For a moment, Jisoo looks at her with something like vulnerability. It's brief, but it's there. Over the next few weeks, their interactions shift. At school, Jisoo still keeps his distance, but when they're at home, there are more stolen moments, quiet conversations, lingering glances, and unspoken feelings. Jisoo starts to walk with her to and from school, though he never admits why. His cold exterior is cracking and Tolu's warmth is seeping in. But just as things begin to change, rumors at school start flying. Jisoo's ex-girlfriend, Su Jin, the queen bee of the school, takes notice of the growing closeness between Jisoo and Tolu. Su Jin is used to getting what she wants and she's determined to get Jisoo back. One afternoon, Sujin corners Tolu in the hallway. You think you can steal him from me? Just because you're different doesn't mean he'll ever choose you. Stay in your place. Tolu, shaken but refusing to back down, responds, maybe it's not about choosing. Maybe he's not yours to own. The tension rises and suddenly Tolu's time in Seoul is not just about surviving school. It's about navigating her feelings for Jisoo, standing her ground and facing a new kind of drama she never expected. 